Anyway. Um. <laughs> uh, um. Of up uh, there goes the dog again. Barky, bark, bark, bark. Mut and that one comes <coughs> apart. Come on, there we go. All right, cool. I got all three Jeez, items. Baby. Sweet. Uh, but she's definitely barking up the wrong tree. A bird, maybe. Up the wrong tree. <laughs> she's not even outside. This is a, she's inside the house, and she's just. She's in the house. <laughs> Ow. She's not an outside dog. She's an. Poof. Pinky's a poof. Pinky's a. So now that I have all the items, time for one of the um, one of the uh, the the illiterate lectures. All right, so <laughs> the Angel of Independence, the Zozo Rosa or Pink Zone, is at the exact heart of Mexico City's old district, and in the Plaza of De la Reforma. I hope I'm saying that right. In the center of the zone sits the Angel of Independence. The angel is a 150-foot golden uh, cherub built uh, to honor the heroes of the Mexican Revolution. Even the city's natives use the beautiful angel as a geographic um, landmark. All right, cool. Hmm. Ask away. That's pretty see. neat. Oh, um, Magical Star asks all, has anyone ever been to another country? And if you haven't, what country would you like to visit? I've Fuck! Been I've been to other countries before. Aside from Mexico, I went to uh, France, uh, uh, Spain, and uh, oh, Norway. That's one of them. Ooh. And of course, the UK. Fucking bitch! God damn it! Um, as for me, I have not been out of country, but if I ever did, this is good, kind of obvious. There are three particular ones that I definitely do want to check out. The first one is obvious. Oh yeah, I forgot about Canada also. The second one is um, Germany. And the third one is Ireland. I especially want to see Ireland for its beautiful landscapes. Ugh, give me. Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot I also uh, went to um, uh, Canada. Oh, nice. Yeah. Did you saw the Niagara Falls? Oh, yes. I heard that's like one of the, that's like an actually amazing thing to see. Alright, sweet. Mm -hmm. In fact, in fact, the water, in, in fact, the waterfalls is actually fresh water. Really? Yeah, it's fresh water. Nice. Yep. The same water that we all drink. Huh. Yeah, because the thing is, um, um, all the water that's coming from is is from a dam that can actually that can also filter uh, uh, any um any polluted water, and he sent it to Niagara Falls. Yeah, they filter it, and all the fresh water goes. Interesting. Yay. Of course, the, the reason why I've been like looking up all kinds of stuff to check out when it comes to Japan, for of course, obviously. I'm an otaku, I can't help it. <laughs> All right, here comes another one. The Fine Arts Palace. The Fine Arts Palace on the main street, uh, Juarez Avenue, used to be a royal palace. The palace was first turned into an opera house and finally an art museum. Admired for its elaborate architecture, the museum's vast collection represents Mexico's greatest artists, including Tameo Diego Rivera and his wife, Frida Calho. I hope I'm saying that right. Its official Spanish name is Palacio de Bellas Artes. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think you are. Um, Palacio de Bellas Artes. Artes. I might not be pronounced. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I'm not highlighting the right. Well, let's see. There we go. Damn. The museum used to be a royal palace. Didn't it used to be an up? Well, it was in here, so. Uh. Diego's wife. Uh, oh, um. 
Frida Kahlo. 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 Yeah. There we go. Oh. Yay. Morning. Who's you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last one. We have the National Palace. The explorer Cortez convinced Mexico to build the National Palace. Inside is a painting of Diego Rivera, one of Mexico's famous artists. He is especially well known for his political murals, in particular for the 1,200 square foot painting, The Epic of the Mexican People, the Mexicans, uh, Mexico City's uh, National Palace. The wall painting took the artist and his 16 um, full-time assistants 16 years to complete. Boy, isn't that convenient. The painting <laughs> depicts Mexico's exciting political history. Cool. All Holy right, shit. so the questions. It took how many years to complete? 16 years. Rivera is known for his political morals, funny, violent, colorful. It would have to. <clears throat> okay, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. I would have one of those freaking. There are a couple right things that are like Mexican traditions that I definitely don't. I've been more curious about. One of them is like their day of. Yeah, Dia de los Muertos. It's yes. basically it's basically a a whole week of Halloween. Actually, it's more based off of the actual celebration of past loved ones and mm -hmm. all that stuff. But yeah, I've been like very curious of its holidays traditions and like all the festivities never got a chance to partake in one you should you should watch the movie you should watch the pixar movie coco it pretty much sums up um it summarizes everything about the the other oh i have and also another one that's got us that kind of helped me got uh, wanting to learn more about it was the book of life yes <laughs> the book of life that was a fun video that was a fun movie i loved that movie Mm-hmm. What the fuck was that? I have no <laughs> idea. That was me raspberrying. Okay, so, long right, as it was so just let's that. see what we're at now. Um. Um. <laughs> um. EG, graceful art is at is getting at you about the Day of the Dead. Hey, what? He say, okay, Graceful Art says, it may be called Day of the Dead, but it's not Halloween. They are calling you out. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, Sydney? Is that where I'm at? I can't tell. S Sydney Austin. Hey, fun! Yep, okay, I see one of the familiar uh, towers. Okay, not towers, they're one of the familiar buildings. The big uh, triangle Ooh. one. That's cool! Alright, so. Australia, mate. You're now an Aussie, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's see if I I'm can say hello to Anthony C. <laughs> That tall motherfucker is all right. You know, technically, somewhere. Golden, since you're the okay. Golden, technically, since you're a sniper, your char the character you're based on for TF2 is technically an Aussie. Oi, I'm the sniper from TF2. That was a terrible. Oh, impersonation. Australia, the only country that was so close to getting a Disney park, but uh, but a fam but a very famous friendly CEO by the name of Michael Eisner said no. I want to go to China, and that one flopped. <laughs> Down with thy sir. <laughs> God dang, that hiss. He turned, oh, yeah. he turned into a cat. <laughs> no, he's part of the reason my 2D animation is dead. Fucking moron. Still, still. Yeah. <laughs> the fact you hissed like a cat. That was funny. Oh, 2D and one of the most... And a couple of the most ambitious Disney projects they canceled all because of Euro Disney. A.K.A. Disneyland Paris. <sighs> oh my <Sadly>. god. <laughs> like, okay, he was good at, at reviving in Disney. The in, Disney in, Renaissance. In animated film. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. I give props to Eisner for, for, for uh, starting the Renaissance, but he was not good at running and adding new, uh, in new uh, attractions for, uh, for Disney parks. Eh. He was not good at that. 
And Derek the Brony, yes, that is where Steve Irwin was originally born. He was born in Australia. Yeah, he was. He died too young. I know. I At least he died doing what he loved doing. Go ahead. It just had to be that fucking stingray that took his life. Yeah, at least it was something that was not in, you know, something extremely stupid because, you know, animals do. Oh, mm. hi, Solar. Titties are nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Can I agree? <laughs> of course, he's going to say something. They make wonderful pillows. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they do. Yes, Era Dragon. He saved and destroyed Disney at the same time. The irony. The Indeed. Irony. Disney, uh, uh, Iger, at least he saved the Disney parks. Bob Iger, he, he managed to save uh, many of the Disney parks, but... Oh my god, there's so much branding he's obsessed with. I was about to Disney. say, isn't he the dude who just likes to make a shit ton of money by branding everything? Yes. So yep. much Marvel and so much Star yeah, Wars. Bob Iger, see, yeah, Bob Iger, he's been CEO of Disney since 2005. And I feel like... <laughs> Derek <laughs> up top. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I do. I think he's that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. He gives it. Derek, Derek you get a cookie. <laughs> Derek, you get a cookie. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, you. that's. Funny. Oh yeah, uh, like I'm start. I already lost my respect for Iger when he actually dissed on a uh, on a uh, um on very popular rides like Space Mountain, Thunder Mountain, and Mount Everest because they're not. Uh, they're not branded with a Disney IP. Oh, kiss my dick. That's because they're original Disney. Disney. They're not based on yeah. the fucking... Did he say Disney. shit about the Haunted Mansion as well? Yes. Oh, that son of a bitch. I'm gonna kick his ass. Yeah, he's been acting more uh, heartless uh, in, his final, in his final months of, uh, of being... Oh, Edwin's on. Uh, Maybe he's guy. trying to see how much he can get away with. He's already Iger. on his way out. Yeah, Iger can fuck yeah. off. <laughs> Indeed. All right, so uh, where am I? Okay, uh, there's a police officer right there. Okay, so I have to do a little bit of a U-turn to the other end. God damn, this oh, map is just fucking weird. This reminds weird. me of something. Um, this reminded me of something. Uh, uh, Australia's one of the few... Uh, Carlos venomous snakes of all. I forgot the name of the species, but it has the most venomous ever, ever encounter in the world. Probably Australia. That's what yeah. I just said. Yeah, probably Australia. No, oh, I was trying. To, I don't remember the name of the species of snake. Just, I remember <laughs> that they're located in Australia. I just don't remember. Probably the name of the species Australia. Of Australia. <laughs> Okay, Solar. F you. No thanks. I don't need to take care of a kid. According to South Park, Denmark face. is the Canada of Europe. Et, <laughs> et. E look what Grace Fuller just said. <laughs> hey, Iser can make uh, all good. Uh, can make all good. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Graceful, you deserve a yeah, you deserve a, a trophy for that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Even I find that hilarious and I don't play Kingdom Hearts. Oh god. Now I can imagine just Iger saying Darkness is the heart's true essence. <laughs> No, 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 wait. Branding. Branding is Disney's true essence. <laughs> no, like, Eisner is a big bad guy, like, gives, like, fucking Maleficent a run for her money, while his assistant is Bob Iger. <laughs> yeah, he, he gives me a lot of the part. <laughs> My stomach, it burns! 
yeah. Yeah, you need to work, the, you need to work out the abs of laughing is causing your stomach to hurt. God. You okay. gotta flex the abs. Great oh, card! Thank you for that! Red that Dragon said, I once read a web to find <laughs> And the final Disney film. Okay, thank you, Twilight Flower. The name of the species of snake I was talking about earlier. So it's the Mulia. Thank Otherwise you. known as Australia, the snake. Shut up, Solar, with that. Ugh. Okay, well, you so. Have a problem with Australia, the snake. Time for another series of uh, illiterate lectures for me because I can't read for shit sometimes. The Bondi Beach. Australia, because it is both a continent and a country, has thousands of miles of coastline. Two of the most popular beaches near Sydney are famous around the world, both man uh, mainly Manly and Bondi or Bondi, however you say the name, beaches, are popular as great surfing, uh, surfing beaches. But Bondi is perhaps the better of the two. Thousands of enthusiasts gather around at Bondi. I keep, I keep like, fearing that I'm going to accidentally say Bambi for whatever reason. Each, uh, every year to watch <laughs> the Australian Surfing Championships. All right. Isn't that also where the term Bonsai came from? Buns you kept changing it into from Bondi, from Bondi to Bambi to freaking Bonsai. No, no, no! Like, isn't that where the term Bonsai came from? No, bonsai is Japanese. Oh. I think it was. Ja no, it came from Japan. Yeah, My it's bad. Japan. Yeah, mostly. Uh, I think. I think the, the, Japan the whole also fucking. Said the whole fucking like bonsai charge concept originated from Japan because wouldn't you know it, they yelled bonsai when they charged at you. I didn't World know that, okay? Didn't they do that uh, when they performed kamikaze? Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, Hence the term bonsai charge because, uh, yeah, they yell bonsai when they. What a concept. Yeah. But after the war, they decided to like put that name into into the smallest trees they've ever uh, created. The bonsai. That's right. I love bonsai, bonsai trees. I like to I like to keep one. They are very good, but they're very tedious to tend. They're a pain in the ass. Unfortunately. Yeah, you have to trim down their uh, you, you have to trim down their bushes. You have to uh, you have to feed them a lot. Oh, oh, the hyena that you're talking about, um, Twilight Flower, that's not the name. That's not what it, the actual name. Bonzi is is the actual term for it, not bonsai. Bonzi. Yeah, apparently, apparently bonsai means 10,000 years of life to you, which is kind of ironic since you're charging somebody down and attempting to impale them with a bayonet, but you know. <laughs> yeah! Maybe All they right. mean a life sentence in purgatory or something. All right, here we go. Uh, Apparently, uh, it's we, also uh, the like to Mario. God damn it, Jedi! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I know what it said too. What was that saying? Apparently, it's also a way of greeting the Japanese emperor. So I don't know. Maybe it's their way of saying for the emperor. Ah, the Sydney Opera House. Yes. Ah, Anyways, yeah. the Sydney Opera House. Okay, so Sydney's Opera House has become one of the most well-known landmark in the city. Most people remark that it looks exactly like a boat under a full sail. A contest was held to design an opera house. People from all over the world submitted plans, and a young architect from Denmark was chosen. Because of the problems with the construction, the architect unhappily left the project before it was completed. The theater was built on Bevelong Point, named after an Aborigine Australia's native people. I'm going to get shit for mispronouncing that. Aubergine? Yeah, this is nice and all. Uh, How the fuck does this point us to Mario? <laughs> I know, right? You have to go Somehow. through... Yeah, it's a stupid <laughs> education game, but you have to go through all these doors, and then you can finally face Mario. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, before Aubergine. Luigi's Mansion, we had this game. You could just, I don't know, call the police. <laughs> when did the opera house open? There's a lot of missing persons report. Well, shit. They didn't say anything but about that. that. Make logical sense. And some things are just known for logical sense. Well, son of a. Ain't that sad? <laughs> Plus, Luigi's really excited to finally actually be able to go on an adventure for once. Oh. <laughs> and 
Yeah. And this He's one, always this been one able one to did. go on an adventure. It's called being player two. Mm. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. So you're pretty much saying that Luigi is a piece of shit. I said player two. Where did okay. you get piece of this, shit? From this that? is making it even Number two change. is another. Number yeah, two dude. Is another meaning of going to the bathroom. Eat, G. Okay, I'm already. I'm already, dis I'm already noticing a flaw number... here. What? Okay, so um, they have a lot of this information about the Sydney Opera. It never states what year it was built. Thankfully, oh. we have this wonderful tool called Google. MD. When did the fucking Sydney Opera House open? 